Charlotte City leaders set to move forward with plans for Charlotte's new transportation center. City Council expected to sign off on an agreement that would eventually bring a new hub with retail, restaurants, and a new practice facility for the Hornets as well. Wake up, Charlotte's Richard Devane now live for us this morning. And Richard, the hope is that the developer will start laying out a roadmap for this massive new development there in Uptown. Yeah, Ben, massive is the word that they've used several times when uh, talking about this. City leaders will also look into zoning ordinance and everything about this, including funding for overall projects like its transportation plan. Another step in the process of moving Cats Transit Center below ground takes place today as council members will hear more about the project. The transit center would move underground and above it for the $89 million mixed-use facility will be office spaces, hotels and stores, apartments or condos. It could also include the practice facility for the Charlotte Hornets. All of this is part of the new festival district. A topic that city leaders will also discuss are ways to pay for the project. The council had discussed asking state leaders to allow for a one cent sales tax to be placed on the ballot for voters to pay for the project. But as Mayor Pro Tem Braxton Winston said recently on Flashpoint, there is still lots of work to do. When it comes to the one cent sales tax, you know, uh, like I've said in the past, we have to look folks in the eye and tell them what we want and why we need uh, the things that we want and how that works, um, not just on a city level, um, but on a regional level and on, on a state level. And that's Winston referring to the overall transportation multi-billion dollar plan and how to raise funding for that. We can tell you as far as today's conversations about the moving the Charlotte uh, Transportation Center, the CAT Center below ground, they say one of the things they'll also be discussing is its safety, how safe it'll be because folks who go into that center will have to have tickets, which should help reduce the amount of crime that they expect. We're right here in Charlotte. Richard. For wake up Charlotte. But as you mentioned, still a long way to go to approve that funding uh, through state lawmakers. All right, yeah. Richard, thank you.